Welcome, everyone. We are getting ready to start the second of four quarterfinal games today. We've got Group 3, Game 3, where we'll hand out two more eliminations from the Risk World Cup for national teams. Uh, three teams will guarantee their advancement, and a fourth-place team will go into the playoff on Monday uh, for a chance in the, to get to the semifinals. Uh, we've got Norway, Netherlands 1, Northern South America, USA 1, Finland, and Sweden uh, here to play in Game 3. And we'll go through the standings. We just finished up one game, so I'll have to just tell you those standings. But we'll go through the standings so far. Maybe. There we go. So group one, we saw USA 2 will advance. They're currently sitting in one of the spots that could potentially get the auto advance to finals. 20 points is the high point total so far in quarterfinals. New Zealand in second. Saudi Arabia in third. Those two auto advance. Eastern Asia will be in the fourth place playoff. Venezuela and Peru are eliminated. Israel uh, just took another, this game just finished, so we don't have the updated standings here, but Israel now at 20 points. Um, they're in the lead in this group. France at 15. They got 15 from that game. USA with five and uh, Poland with five in that group. They'll play their game three a little later today, USA time at 22 UTC in about six hours. Uh, group three is what we're getting ready to watch. You can see Finland leading the group right now with 20 points. They've taken no bounties, but they've won both games. Norway and Sweden both got a bounty in game one. They're both sitting at five. USA won Northern South America. Netherlands won at zero. Group four later today, Germany two, England two with points. Germany two at 10, England two at five. Western Asia, Northern Ireland, Central Europe, and Mexico sitting at zero. But for now, we are jumping in to group three, game three. And we are going to hopefully find a stream to watch for it for you. We'll try this. The Sweden stream, maybe. Okay, grab it. There we go. Looks like we got, oh man, we have a fantastic group playing. We've got Thin Tops, the little brother of the great Kewl. From Finland, Garfinov playing for Sweden, Rockstar for Norway, Lernzi, a top, top player from Netherlands, one, Fun Hazmat from Northern South America, and the one and only Plasma Field playing for USA, one, um, on the brink of ending their tournament run after a very long run. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Looks like we're getting ready. Let me check and make sure they're not waiting on me to start it. Okay, they're waiting on me. Cool. Here we go, guys. We're going to hand out two more eliminations. These teams have fought for a long time, especially this USA team. They fought through 91 players uh, to qualify for their national team, and they're on the brink of ending their tournament run today. They need Plasma Field to come through to get points. Lernsey also for Netherlands 1 had a long qualifiers. Um, he's got all the pressure on him to get points and try to get through. The top three teams will get auto advancements. Uh, the fourth place team will go into the fourth place playoff on Monday. Uh, winner take all playoff. We are playing on Bohas Fortress. Um, I can show you those bonuses in one second. So the bonuses kind of stack up like this. You can see uh, around the edge you've got two plus threes and a plus five. You've got four different plus fours on this map, a plus six, and then a plus eight no one's going for, and a plus three there on the left. Uh, that's probably the easiest bonus to take. Update this, and then I will start with you. Uh, you can see first in turn order is Rockstar for Norway. Uh, the bonuses are key in this map. We saw them key yesterday in the first game three we watched. We'll see how they get uh, divvied up here. I'm Sweden or Norway, I just try to kill the other team to guarantee top three. Um, well, the, the other bounties could be split, Riedel, right? 
No, this is a uh, progressive world dom. Progressive world dom is what we're watching here. On Bohus Fortress. Just a reminder, we've got Group 4 Game 2 coming up at 1800 UTC, uh, which is about two hours from now, and that'll be on Hot Button Stream. So you'll want to check that one out for sure. Okay, so we're fourth in turn order here with Plasma Field. There are two real obvious kill guard positions on this map, this circle here and this circle here. They're guarded by this position and this position. There's potentially a kill guard position up here, but you're in a two territory kill guard. Okay, we see the first bonus taken there. Uh, first bonus taken by Fintops. He takes the plus four there in Ofre flat right in the middle of your board. Looks like yellow. Garfina is going to get, by the way, this map is a bus fortress, which is in Sweden. So Garfina should have a huge advantage here playing on homeland here. Um, and this is a plus three, very popular to take. Looks like that's what Garfina is going to go for. Looks like Orange is and Lernsey are trying to take this bonus, this plus three up at the top. He's got to take out this white one and black three. Black three will probably move over here. There's a bonus right here that's super popular, but we've got split medium stacks in here, so going to be tough to take. Um, Fintop's just really thinking through this fortify, or just didn't realize he didn't fortify. Oh, no, he did move his fortify eventually. Okay. So we're last uh, player of the first in turn order, and he's playing his pink, which is not right. So let's figure out who that is. That's Fun Hazmat. Okay. You guys can verify if you saw that was definitely Fun Hazmat, but I'm pretty sure that's right. He sets up a 7 down here. It's an interesting placement for a 7. There's not really a bonus in the middle to take. And I guess he could be working out to this plus three, but unlikely. This is a plus five around the outside, but it's a big bonus. Um, yeah, so I send it to you between rounds, Parlock, so you guys would have gotten it uh, after your last round. You should be able to keep up with it from this round because you've only played two games. Yeah, the top three auto qualify. Uh, the fourth place team goes into a fourth place winner take all playoff on Monday. Yeah, Parlock, you should have that. If you don't have it, let me know. But you should have it and be able to add your two players that have played so far this round. I can tell you who they are. They are uh, Parlocks and Acrobot. Okay, so Garfana does take the plus three. The fourth game to the top three call for Um so yeah, in the fourth place playoff, it'll be a four player game. So the fourth place team from each of the four quarterfinals groups will play in a winner take all for one spot. T Brown doesn't like plasma field situation. He doesn't really have a play for this bonus, right? Uh sorry, he doesn't really have a play for the oh, he breaks and steals. Just breaks. He comes right at Finn Tops in Finland there and says, basically, I want that bonus that you've taken. Interesting. Black didn't guard the bonus, so it makes sense. And also, there's probably some bent up ang pent up anger towards Finland for holding a bonus for an hour and a half yesterday. Yeah, I think it was kind of White's only play there. Like you said, he looked dead because he didn't have any lines on anything. 
Um, and Black didn't do a great job guarding the bonus. It'd be interesting to see how Black reacts to that. Finland just wants any kind of bounty here uh, to have a chance to get that auto advance to the finals. Currently sitting at 20 points and a tie with a. Uh, who is that? Israel and USA 2 for the most points in the quarterfinals so far. Orange takes their plus three around the outside. Learnsy takes the plus three for the Dutch. Up in. I'm not even going to try. Huvu Dintre. Uh, yeah, look in your, it'll be in your Israel uh, national chat, Farlox, in Discord. Ah, it's main entrance. That was going to be my guess. Huvudentre is main entrance in Swedish. Got it? Cool. Okay, so red's going to work on this other plus three. Out in the Hemling Promenade. He's got two twos still to take, but he's got sixes lined up to nicely take it there for Norway. And it's a two-point guard on that plus three. It looks like Black is getting out of the way of White and saying, hey, I'll take this other bonus. And that's not going to make Black happy that Orange adds in here. Secret boardwalk. Hey, how about that? And we learn so much during the Risk World Cup. You just you learn other languages. You learn uh, just how about the Three Lions music video, which you'll definitely get to watch on Hot Lens Stream later before that England group game here in two hours. You just you become more cultured getting to take part in the Risk World Cup. There's no doubt about it. I learned a new German word that uh, Speedster likes to type and report on people. I won't say it on air, but it starts with an H and it ends with an er in. Oh, the kill guard's gone. White takes out the potential kill guard on yellow there and takes the bonus. Watching <laughs> Riedel's excited to watch England lose again. I mean, the entertainment value there is huge. The confidence of England is what's really inspiring, though. Just so confident. Does Black just let him have that after he steals the bonus? No, he breaks back. Not surprising. And he leaves the seven stack, which is interesting. But maybe was going to let that work out if orange doesn't add in there. That's why it was so smart that Learns he adds in here uh, to his to his stack, which is now four, um, to keep this from being able to be taken by black and white and black to be able to work out that deal. Um, this makes it to where they're all fighting over that same bonus. Orange has his nice bonus out here, so he doesn't have to worry about it. He can just cause problems for them here. So yellow, red, and orange are all going to have a bonus. Pink's just building a big stack here. Maybe to eventually try to go for this plus five, but you can see how big that plus five is. Red goes ahead and takes their plus three. But look at that plus five, that purple plus five that potentially pink is lining up for. Northern South America is potentially lining up for. Crackle, do you mean the plus five, the purple plus five here? You mean the plus six? Orange has a two position guard on their plus three, and red has a two position guard on their plus three. Yeah, the plus five. It's just a big button. He's got to hit here, here, here. Does he have to take that six? No. Yeah, he's pretty much got it. 
He's just got to take out this orange one. Yeah, he should take these out next turn. I think Pink takes the plus five next turn. That'll be interesting to see how everyone plays that out. That really leaves black and white as the two without bonuses at that point. Yeah, they had it last turn for sure. It's got a guard here, a guard here, and a guard here. So it's a three-point guard on a plus five if they take it. Plasma gives Knuckles. And we get an oops from black. Plasma saying, okay, we're going to have to play no bonus here. Plasma having the five here is going to be helpful long term. The five here is going to be helpful long term. I think USA's in trouble, guys. USA 1 might be going out of the tournament here, but we also thought that with Crackle's game last night that they might USA uh, 2 might be going out, but Crackle uh, ends up finding a way there at the end to get 20 points for his team. Maybe something like that will exist for Plasma. Yeah, Finland just starts to take back the bonus. The problem was Plasma just didn't have another play. No one's got really a play over on this left side, these two left side plus fours, because there's just so many medium stacks in there. Plasma's going to have to figure a way to win in a no bonus game. And not win, just get a bounty uh, to have a chance to go through, right? Yeah, you had a really good position. Um, it was just you had a, yeah you had a nice central position there to work from and an early bonus. He's not gonna have the troops to clean up the board like that. <laughs> Speedster, I stole it from you and uh, Johan. Do you like that? I mean, that's such a simple idea. Honestly, it's unbelievable how smart all the people are that are involved in risk in the community is and how willing even more impressive is how willing everybody is just to kind of share stuff um ideas and tips and how to do stuff it's so cool uh, the stuff i've learned just since i started broadcasting world cup games um, has been unbelievable so yeah i stole this idea from johan and speedster yesterday to get a, a screenshot of the bonuses so it'd be really easy for you guys to see how everything lines up versus hoping that the player would do it. Again, easiest option would be if SMG would create a spectator code, so please go upvote our spectator code um, in risk ideas, because then I could click the bonuses whenever I wanted to on any map. That would be the biggest game changer for sure. Oh, I guess I didn't do the prediction. Distracted the back-to-back -back game. Sort of leap. We'll do a late prediction here. How about that for you guys? Do a uh, two. Surely you guys can figure this out by now. We're gonna do. Who wins the game? Surely this gives you a huge advantage on making your prediction. You've got to see the full setup. All of you guys will get this right, I'm sure. Who 
two minutes. I'm sure you guys got this all figured out. Hey, thanks for putting the link in there, uh, Speedster. We really need that spectator lobby code. It would be a, a just a giant game changer um, for trying to broadcast these games. You'd also have higher quality broadcasts, um, less lag issues, and things like that. Two years now? Yeah. That's why we got to make a really big, loud noise about it. Uh, yeah, Pink is just not interested in that bonus, I guess. It's a really interesting play for sure. His 11's also kind of blocked in there. It can only go the one direction out of there. Interesting. He moves out of a guard position. He moves his stack into a totally different area. Why? Orange and red are just in such good positions now, right? They've got their nice exterior bonuses. I guess yellow's in similar position. Orange and red just have a little more access to the board. Yeah, black traded early. Was worried he was about to be killed. Yeah, so we see the 8 trade there. So we've had the 4, 6, and the 8 trade now. 10 trade will go to Garfna. 12 trade to Plasma. The early trade from Black helps Plasma a little bit stay alive with some more troops. You can see the difference between holding a bonus and not holding a bonus. The 3 players early in turn order all have bonuses. 3 players late in turn order all don't have bonuses. Although if you're late in turn order, you get the bigger trades, except then tops traded in early. Um, so that'll be that will add some balance to it. The other piece is I think red, orange, and yellow all feel so good about their position. They don't want to cash in this game for an early bounty probably as much because they think hey, you have a chance to win it. So we'll see how that plays out. But obviously, if yellow or red gets a bounty, they feel really good about going through in the tournament. And it looks like yellow's even counting out as he places here. What's he counting out? He'd have to be counting out white, right? Not counting out white. He's trying to kill black or kill pink. He's double tapping pink here. Does he have time to do this? He's got to hit a 19 on 9, then go all the way around the board. And he's way out of time here. No way this gets done in, in time. Does Plasma get fed a kill? He at least stops before he really ruins everything. Plasma trades. Could the U.S. really get this fortunate to have another kill fed to them? When all hope looked lost. He's got to put enough over there. You need about 10. Okay, he goes with 8. It's a tight kill. Oh, he had to split? No, he's got he's got troops in the middle to do that? No, he messed it up. He messed it up. He had to split there. He didn't have the troops to do it. Yeah, he didn't have the kill. He just fed further to black.
Yeah, his nine wasn't open. Can Black get it? I don't think Black can either. He doesn't have a trade. Does Pink end up getting this kill? Does Pink stay alive? Yeah, I don't think it was an intentional feed. I don't know that he had it. I think it was too tight. Black hits orange. He takes a bonus. He takes this opportunity to grab a bonus. That's an interesting way to play it out. He doesn't hit any of white, which I think is smart. Doesn't want to feed that further. Pink gets to trade in cards. Does he go hit yellow and take him out of this side of the board so he can't finish the kill? Yeah, it depends if red has a set or not, right? Pink trying to figure out the best way to potentially stay alive here. At 32 troops, so they're they're not at a troop disadvantage, and they're only going to be at three cards. That all leans in their favor. I think one option is to hit that yellow nine stack, but then I think they immediately die to red. They got to add in a spot that's really hard for yellow to get to. The hardest spot for yellow to get to is back in this corner, where their four is. So I think they should be adding back here. Because this is a very well hidden spot between orange and white. The card skip here would be interesting. That'd be a very Arco move, right? He goes for the card. I think you gotta keep playing it and take the card. Yeah, I think that's the right move. That four is tough to get to, right? Orange has a 10 stack here, white's got an 8 stack here, white's got a 5 stack here. So for red to get back here is a nightmare. Yeah, card skip's a losing move because you have no way to get the points back. If they weren't at zero points, that may be an option. But I think they need it. It's not an easy kill for anybody on, on pink still. I think Plasma actually made a pretty good move. He leaves the blocks here. To make that pink kill tough. Plasma would need cards on three. To get the kill of pink still. Red looks like they don't have a trade, right? Ah, this is getting interesting for sure. It was a smart move by yellow once they realized they didn't have the kill, they stopped. And that's why you stop, is because you might get another chance at it, right? Orange gets the trade, and that's the easiest uh, option to get the kill. Because Orange has the paths right here from their 10 to work from. Yeah. So Lernsey's going to save Netherlands 1 here. Why would they do that? Oh, they're going for Finland first. But why? Did he miss this four? No, he's going to come through the six. Okay. Okay, so that's the kill. Nether uh, Netherlands one gets five points. They're on the board. Hopefully that'll update in just a second. Keep watching what's happening here. He doesn't go for the pink kill. Very interesting. Does yellow have a trade? Yellow has a trade on three. Okay. Yellow's got a tougher kill to go for on pink. But not too bad. Should still have it. He doesn't seem to be lining up for the kill on pink. Netherlands 2 moves up into second position. We've got three teams on five points. And Finland is out. So the team with 20 points is out, which is great for uh, Crackle's team. Because that means they'll be tied with Finland at this point for most points in quarterfinals so far. Yeah, but the kill on orange seems so challenging. I don't see it. 
Yeah, also good for math to law. Um, how does he get up there, though? I don't see it. It's a feed of orange to plasma? Like, he'd have to go through the six, through the one, but there's no way he gets all 14 of those other stacks. 14 in those other stacks. He's just fully feeding this to plasma. Which is a really bad move for yellow because yellow needs plasma not to get points. I think this is just a giant mistake here. Plasma needs a trade on three more than anything right here. It doesn't look like it's a trade on three. Oh no, he has to take out 21 troops for four cards, but he doesn't have a trade on three. He can hit a 1-4, he can add here, and then he's got to roll a 5 on 10 and just get unbelievable dice. Oof. I think he just holds. I think he's I think it's over. Okay, he's going to go for it. He goes for a bonus. He goes to break yellow. Oh boy. Does pink have cards on 3? Could have really used cards on three there for pink. Interesting, red and orange are both down in under 30 troops, so they'll both get a trade here. Most likely, right? This is an interesting game. This is uh this is one to watch back for sure. Um this has been very interesting to see how it's played out. Where we thought there were feeds, uh cards didn't work out to make it a, a great easy feed sweep of the board situation. These guys have had to use some strategy to um, keep the game going. Mm hmm. Pink breaks a white. Yeah, pink can move back into that kill guard position. Oh, they don't move back into the kill guard position. I thought they were definitely coming back into that to guard the yellow three. They leave it out here as a block to orange. Okay, so... But if red goes for the yellow... Yeah, they're going to finish off the orange kill. They get the four troops in the auto trade. Okay. Lernzy not happy about that. That will put Norway into second place with 10 points. And they get 35 troops to get the kill on white. Orange mad because yellow fed him. Orange needs uh, red to take the rest of the points. Okay, so that's... I'll put these in. Okay. They're at 10, then they get the other kills. So they're at 13. So orange currently in a position in that auto qualifier spot. They need red to take the rest of this, right? As long as Norway finishes up the points, Netherlands gets through with five. They definitely need... They would love to see red take out Sweden next. Yeah, red doesn't get an auto traded. It would be just for the one point at this point, right? 
It's not the right move. I don't think. Although it keeps white from getting the kill, I guess, is the logic. Please, please spectate, please spectate, please spectate, spectate, thank you. Okay, so one more point there for Norway. They're 14, they're through. Uh, they're going into the semis. Does Plasma's trade on four do him enough here to get the, uh, he's down 51 troops. He gets 45. Can Plasma find a way to take USA 1 from the brink of death um, at zero points? Last two in this game. He's got to figure out a way to get the win. The only way to go through now for the USA is the win here. You know Plasma has played this pathing about a billion times. Moves all of his troops inside where they're locked. He can only get the center. No, he can come back out. Okay. He's just going to go through each bonus. Red's on five cards, obviously. So red gets... Red will get cards here. The question is, can Plasma beat him on pathing? Red should be able to take enough of the board to get his bonuses back next turn. And then Plasma won't have anything to, uh, to take. So it should go to red here. Norway should get the win. Unless Plasma has cards on two, I think it's over, don't you guys? Red, clearly a fast attacker. And this is great for the Netherlands. Netherlands loves to see this because they're going through uh, as long as Red wins this game. Yeah, Rockstar's good. He goes out in. He paths up. I don't think he gets the kill here. I mean, he would need some really fantastic dice at the end, but it won't matter. Man, I think this was... Oh, he does... Oh, he loses the three on one. To get the other three on one, he gets the good luck. He loses both three on ones. <laughs> oh man, that was that was an awesome game. Um, I think the big mistake in the game came from Sweden, uh, hitting Norway too much, or hitting Netherlands too much. Um, I think that's the one big mistake we saw, but it works out for the Netherlands in the end. They get through as the three. And this is the first elimination of USA team. USA won. First USA team to go out. That'll be the end of the tournament for them and Northern South America. Sweden will go play in the four-team playoff. And Norway, currently sitting at the tops in points, um, has a chance to get the auto advance to the finals. They're currently sitting in the best spot for it. We'll see if we can get a little post-game combo going here for you guys. Uh, okay. Work on getting everybody in here, talk a little post game. We have a couple. Oh, we got Rockstar coming in. What's up, everybody? I'm happy we're through, but <laughs> I have questions. 
Yeah, we'll see if we can get... Uh, I'm sure your questions are for Garfana, probably. Yeah. Let's see him in here. Uh, we'll see if he pops in here in a minute. Um, I, we got... I, I, I can't stick around. I can't stick around because... Thanks. Um, gotcha. Uh, so, any comments or questions or uh, thoughts on what I could have done differently? Yeah, so you you had a partial feed there to you, but you just didn't have the troops to clean that up. Basically, right. you didn't have the cards on three when you really needed them. Right. Yes. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah. I, and I none of my troops are open to it. I, I, I was right. fully aware of that. Yep. Any other Anything comments else? for Plasma before he has to go? Uh, thanks for not killing me before Red did. Plasma, uh, could you explain to us how did you break us? Uh, we had nothing. So you wanted to make sure that you don't make the semis. That's how? Uh, no. Uh, basically, I knew that y'all were through, and I was hoping to, uh, that we could work, work something. Um, but uh, okay. clearly that wasn't the case. So, okay. There was a possibility yeah. that that White takes the left bonus there in that pocket, and then uh, Finland gets the right bonus. But then Netherlands added in there, which was super smart because it prevented Black from having that possibility of getting the right bonus where you guys could work together. Yeah. So anyway, um, I mean it was it was a long shot. Uh, I mean if you were looking at all the bonuses, there were. Stacks and stacks and stacks of troops, um, and people kept adding into them and so forth. So, I mean, I tried for I think three different bonuses just throughout the game, and uh, yeah, it, it got blocked every time or something. So, kill it wasn't anything about it was it was it was a actually was, I think King John King John recommended I. Did that and uh, do that, and it wasn't because of uh, anything other than, um, well, partly an early bonus, but that wasn't even the primary matter. It was like, what the heck do we do is with this spawn? Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I figured y'all could possibly gravitate, and being in a guaranteed win position. I was hoping y'all could work with us. I, I didn't mind the break. I was uh because obviously that was retribution. Um I was disappointed that we couldn't work together um from the standpoint of the uh, I mean I had no problem with Finland winning or anything like that. Um it was just at the end of the day I have to I have to look out for myself and it that was that was it, right? That was yeah. the weakest. That by troop count, that was the weakest bonus, and I already had troops there too. Yeah, I don't quite understand how making sure that either of us get a bonus makes the, your situation any better. But you do you. Man, you're just irritated. I I get it. Yeah, I am. I see. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I, I told you the reason. Yeah, and I don't get it, but yeah, that's it. USA had nothing, basically. I'm just waiting for Patrick to go uh, to undeafen to ask him questions. Yeah, Patrick's in here right. uh, for Sweden, but he doesn't. he's deafened and muted currently. Hey, anything else for me before I go? I uh, don't think so. Yep. I think you're good, Plasma. All right. Yep. All right. It was fun playing in the tournament. I think we're completely out. So good luck, you're out. guys. Yeah, but, yeah I know. <laughs> final scores, Norway finishes first in the group with 25, Finland in second with 20, Netherlands finishes in third with five, Sweden will be in the fourth place playoff, finishing with five, Northern South America and USA 1 are officially out. All right. Uh, did I feed NSA, by the way? I didn't think I did, but... Uh, that's... What color was that again? Pink. Pink. Um, I hit the four, you but... You did, but nobody could get it afterwards. So, there were lines on it for the other player anyway. 
Which is why I was wondering if yeah. I actually fed it. Yeah, I don't remember no. noticing it as a feed. Yeah, all I hit was a four. Yeah. But and, and mm. it was nearby to other troops. So I mean, I don't know. All right. Good luck, guys. I've got life stuff to deal with. So see you, Plasma. Yep. Um, so learns he's upset at the Swedes, but the Swedes won't talk to him, as I understand uh, it. No, they just said something in the chat. If White had a set, he would have killed us and set, a, uh, set in again, I think, which would have probably led to them winning the game and the group. And since Sweden has a bounty on uh, USA, they win the tiebreaker against Norway, but White didn't have a set, so it didn't work out. Ah, uh, okay, so they were hoping for a set on three um, yeah. from from USA there. That was their play. Because they wanted USA to kill you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And USA just didn't have the set, and they didn't have the troops in the right spot to get that kill either. Hey, thanks yeah. for the subs, Bertram the Boar. Appreciate ya. Um, yeah, so the the first kind of kill attempt comes from who was that? Sweden trying to kill NSA? Uh, Yellow trying yeah, to kill there I, yeah, and then I think White tried to kill Pink afterwards, and both failed. White tried to kill Pink afterwards. Yeah. In the yeah, and like turn f round five or yeah, something. Yeah, they just and he didn't have the troops pointed, so he ends up kind of blocking it. Yeah. He puts in a couple of five stacks to just yeah. try to block it from everybody else, which ends up working. No one can kill Pink that whole turn. Um, Pink actually lives for yeah. two more turns after that. Um, Kewl, you guys are just upset with the USA? Is that your general positioning? Well, uh, I think we made a mistake because we didn't fortify more troops on the border, but... Just to guard yeah, better? Still, yeah, I mean, I don't think they would have broken us if, if we had more troops on the border. Gotcha. If that world wasn't 100%, but... Uh, yeah, I just don't understand why they did it did what they did. Like, breaking us, I guess that's fair, but leaving all the troops there, just make sure that either of us don't get a bonus. They should have gone for their own bonus. Which the bonus do you part. think they could have gone for? The one, like, like top left, not not the top left, top left bonus, but the one under that, where they added it on the first turn as well. The plus yeah, the one they on the left. They eventually got in the last turn when it didn't matter anymore. Okay, yeah. I don't know if it was that one, but yeah, then Nether Flat. Okay, Nether Flat. Is the one you're saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, but I think Red was kind of blocking there. There, was, they, there were just some medium stacks there. there. There were some twos and threes in there, so it wasn't an easy yeah. take. Yeah. Yeah, and Red pretty quickly started putting something in there. Lernsey, when you guys added to Vatten Hall, that plus four, um, was it to keep Black from taking it? Because you guys added there right next turn, right after Plasma breaks Finland. You added it. Um, mostly it was to keep uh, an extra position on the right side, because that okay. was our only position there. Gotcha. So we want to make sure we didn't get broken there. Gotcha. Yeah, it looked like at the time it was to keep Finland from taking it, which forced Finland and U.S. into a bigger war over the other plus four. Because I thought when USA took it, Finland might be able just to jump to the side there and work out a deal. Um, yeah, and that's what I was scared of because I didn't want to yeah. get kicked out of there. Right, right. Yeah, that makes sense to hold that spot from them taking it. I don't know that Finland would have been chill about it and just taken the other one, but... Um, would have been interesting. We, we tried to do that. Yeah. Like, getting a bonus is all we needed. If we don't have a bonus, we don't have a chance. That's how I saw it. And I don't... Yeah, I, I think it was the same for, for Plasma. Plasma had to go for a bonus, but they chose not to, and that's what happened. Yeah. Rockstar, can you hear us? Are you in here? But yeah, we don't have to go now. Yep. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Bye, Kewl. Nothing from Rockstar. Learns, you were you surprised that uh, Pink doesn't take the plus five at the bottom that they had for like four turns? Yeah. Like, I, I kept thinking, like, oh, they're going to take this turn. And then they attack one territory down there and they force five back. And I'm like, why aren't they taking it? Like, yeah. if I, like, 
I was thinking like maybe they don't want to take it because they're afraid of immediately getting broken because a plus five is is pretty big and everyone else was holding plus threes. Right. But still, I think they should have gone for it earlier. Yeah, and they they weren't having to hit stacks to take it. They were hitting ones. So even if they yeah. get broken, it's not the end of the world there, probably. I thought it was yeah. a surprising play too. We were surprised in the chat that they weren't that they weren't taking it. Um, yeah, but pretty lucky for the Netherlands to get through on one bounty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the moment uh, Norway killed us, I was like, "Wait, they set in again. Wait, they can get us. Please yeah. get us. Please you just get needed, us." You just needed Red to finish it off and make sure. Uh, yeah, they got it. Yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, you can tell your team, you you know, they're welcome for all your hard work to actually get you guys through. You pretty much did all the work. <laughs> yeah, I got one kill. Let's go. <laughs> you guys might need more than that in the semis, but for now it works out. For uh, probably. <laughs> all right. You guys got anything else? Uh, was no, open, was open pretty helpful for you in that game? <laughs> No, not helpful he at just all. Kept... The thing is, um, he's on a train right now, uh, okay. and so he kept just leave, leaving and rejoining the call without <laughs> saying anything. Or he was just trying to watch, probably more than anything. Then, yeah, okay. and then he just kept leaving and joining. And honestly, I thought it was funny. <laughs> That's good. Cool. Well, congrats, Lernzi. You got Netherlands one through the through the yeah. semifinals. Get oh yeah, there was one thing. Yeah. Uh, so, like right before I went for the kill on black. Like, Ben said, like, uh, okay, go for the kill on black. I have to go now, but go for the kill on black <laughs> next turn if you can get it. Yeah. And I was like, okay, sure. And apparently he was watch still watching the stream, and he saw me not split uh, after hitting the oh, red yeah. five. He's and he was like, you. what are you doing? <laughs> nice. But then he saw that I, just, that I could still just go around. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you'd mess it up, too. I said it on the stream also. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> But yeah, you had the uh, the other path. I was like, did he forget it? Yeah. No, I just I saw the other path and I was like, no. okay, if no one adds there, I'm just gonna go around because yeah. I'd rather hit a few extra ones than right. have to worry about splitting. Right. And you didn't have to yeah take the risk of splitting the right number there. Made sense. Yeah. Cool. Well, congrats. Yeah. See ya. Bye. All right, guys, that is a wrap on Group 3. We know the three moving on are Norway, Finland, and the Netherlands. Sweden will go into a fourth-place playoff winner-take-all game on Monday. Um, and Northern South America and USA won. See their tournament runs end here today. Um, been an awesome run. USA won's a bunch of a group that got through 91 players and finishes the top three. So congrats to them on their awesome run in the Risk World Cup. But uh, yeah, that was one of the most fun fun games to watch I've seen so far in the tournament. So uh, I highly recommend watching it back for anyone that uh, didn't get to see all of it. It was really fun to watch. Learns he gets Netherlands through with just one bounty. Uh, so very impressive. We've got about an hour, and then Hot Buns will be broadcasting Group 4, Game 2, where you'll get to see England and Germany face off. I can go to that schedule. Um, yeah, so game four coming up here in about an hour on Hot Buns 1. If you're not following and already have your notifications turned on for Hot Buns, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to do it so you can uh, watch that one. It's England, Northern Ireland, Germany, Western Asia, Central Europe, and uh, Mexico. That'll be facing off in that game two of that group. So it should be an awesome one. You'll probably get to watch Three Lions. Um, I don't know if she'll play the Germany song anymore because it, it backfired terribly last time. So probably just three lines on that one. About an hour away. Um, I'll be in the Twitch chat hanging out with everybody there uh, for that game. Look forward to seeing you guys. And then I'll be back on at 2200 UTC where we'll finish the group you saw at the start of today. Uh, we'll play game three for group two with France, Australia, Ireland, Israel, USA 3, and Poland uh, finishing up their group game. And then tomorrow will be the final game. That'll be Group 4's Game 3. Uh, that'll finish up tomorrow, and we'll be done with the quarterfinals at that point. Norway currently sitting in the spot that would get the auto advance to final. So two groups have finished. Um, we know that uh, USA 2 now will definitely be playing in the semifinals. 
but Norway has a chance to advance directly to finals, currently sitting at 25 points. So the other two groups, it'll depend who wins those groups and how many points they end with, because the, the number one in points um, will get to auto advance to the finals. So all up for grabs still today. See you guys in about an hour on Hot Button Stream uh, for that Group 4 game. Should be awesome. I'm at Mitch on Risk. If you're looking for more standings and schedules for the Risk World Cup, you can always go to riskworldcup.com. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Risk World Cup. We'll keep you updated on what's going on. Uh, you can check out me on Twitch. I'm at Mitch on Risk. And on YouTube, you can watch these games back. Uh, looking at my YouTube channel at Mitch on Risk. Please like, follow, and subscribe. Not only me, but all these awesome broadcasters like Speedster, Hot Buns, Johan, Open Tanyao, uh, Kuehl, that have been doing such a great job promoting the tournament and providing this content for you guys. I appreciate your time. Until next time, everybody, I'm at Mitch on Risk. And may your dice be nice. See you guys.